Todd Kroc is joining me in studio. His latest film, Sonskane Beperk, is hitting theaters next week. And this is a romantic dramedy. He's here to tell us what exactly we can expect from this romantic dramedy that has beer in it. Hello. Yeah. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Fantastic, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming in. Now, it's always interesting when I have to speak about Afrikaans films because <laughs> I really have to practice saying it. And I want to say it again, Sonskin Beperk. It's perfect. Is it really perfect? Perfect, absolutely. <laughs> Spot on. All right. Well done. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Now, we were chatting before this interview and you said you conceptualized the idea. You, you brought in a writer to, to put your ideas together and now you've, you've directed this film. It's coming out next week. Tell me about the story and... and how it formed in your head? Well, I was in post-production with my, my first movie, Fro Sigbur, in 2013 when I had this idea for craft beer. I like beer. You can see I, also like I beer. really enjoy beer. Good beer. Not rubbish beer, good beer. And, you know, has there ever been a movie made about beer? And I thought to myself, trying to figure out, you know, I'm a, you know, I love commercial films, and I couldn't think of one single movie that involved beer, you know, the production or making of yeah. beer. And then I started, you know, um, doing some more research and having a few more beers. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, th I thought this couldn't really make a nice backdrop to a story. It doesn't specifically have to be, you know, that is the, the movies about, about making beer, you know. But that would be an interesting backdrop, you know. I'm always interested in seeing something in the film that I learn something new from, you know. If it's, well, you know I always loved the, the Jerry Brackheimer movies, for example. Always had something different and, and interesting and exciting. I thought, okay, craft beer. I mean, everywhere I go, I'm seeing these expensive beers everywhere, and, and which taste really good. And here's an opportunity, I thought. And um, having myself spent a long time ab abroad, I've lived in the UK for about nine years, and coming back to and uh, and have come back to South Africa. I thought I'd like to do a story about that. You know, what is it like? You know, for someone who's been away for a long time and actually comes back to, to South Africa, especially in from a romantic angle when you, ha when you actually leave someone behind back where, you, you know, um, where you've been. Um, so that's where the, where the kernel of this idea started from. And um, then the other thing I wanted to kind of investigate is this the idea of you know, the big, you know, in terms of capitalism, the big, the big conglomerates versus the little guy, you know. And, you know, the, the David and Goliath story. Yeah. So that was thought would be quite interesting. You know, so the little guy, can he, can he actually make it against, in, in, in against all the odds? So um, if you think about the, where the economy is at the minute um, and how people are losing their farms and, and, and foreclosure on people's homes, etc., I thought that would also be an interesting angle to, to um, interrogate in this film. So what happens in the story is um, our, our lead actress is living her dream. She's a, she's a CA. She works in, in Wall Street and in New York. And um, she gets word f from um, her father's best friend that he's struggling and the farm is struggling. And she's an only child and her dad is a widower. Um, and she believes it's a duty to return home to try and help him and help save the farm. You know, it's, a, you know, it's been in the family for generations which I think many, many, um, especially Afrikaans uh, or Afrikaner people can identify with. Um, so she comes back home and um, she is also full of fear returning home because she wasn't actually there for dad when her mom died. So she's carrying around this guilt about not being there for her dad. And in the same token, her dad feels, I mean, if you can feel any resentment to your own child, feels a little bit of resentment that she wasn't actually there to help him through his sorrow. And um, what she discovers when she comes home to um, Philadelphia, a beautiful little hamlet just outside of Cape Town, um, is that he's, he's kind of slipped into depression. And that depression has manifested itself in an obsession with his hobby, which is bring beer. And um, her first thought is that he's lost his marbles. He must be nuts. What's going on? He's, you know, I can, you know, he's focusing on, on, on absolutely the wrong thing while the farm is going down, and, you know, it's in a downward spiral. Um, but her business acumen takes over and actually there could be a business opportunity in this. Meanwhile, oh, so the very important, she, the, the, you know, she has a boyfriend and she's left behind. She was in love with this guy, but he wasn't prepared to follow her to South Africa. So she's made a clean break of it. 
And the last thing she expects is to straight away fall for some random stranger to their town in the shape and form of Niels von Hausfeld's character, um, Ruan, who, who is actually not completely honest with, with them, but who he is. He actually works for a big beer conglomerate who are looking for a new recipe for, um, for them to enter a competition. Oh, a big no. Beer competition. And he's, <laughs> he is. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not completely honest about who he is, and he comes across um, these guys with their little beer business, you know, in its in kind of inception, um, and finds it's what an amazing beer this is, and um, he tries to get the recipe, but he starts falling for the girl, and the girl falls for the guy, and um, the next thing you know, Jacob, the American boyfriend, arrives on the scene. Oh no, again! Again. But you can't tell us how it ends. <laughs> no. Because then we wouldn't go Absolutely see it. not. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, when is the movie coming out and where can we see it? The movie releases next week on the 11th, or when I say next week, on Friday, the 11th of March. And it's, uh, it's, uh, will be seen throughout, the, you know, right across the country, um, every city you can imagine in the city, well, in South Africa and in Namibia as well. We will screens, I think, in Swakopmund and in Windhoek as well as South African cinemas.